look at a great fountain. So you put that in, right, Enrique? Good work. I love the morning light coming down. I have never seen a bigger fan, Yankee fan, than you. We are in a beautiful property in Westchester, New York. This is just the beginning of a multi water feature stop on this one. I'm Greg with Suck the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg with Suck the Pond Guy, and I'm traveling around today with Garden State Koi, and we have a longtime customer, 2008, right, Tom? 2008, we built a large palmist waterfall. And then you've added, since then, fountainscapes up front. Fountainscapes in the front, and then we did a pond in the back, and then this spring, Enrique put in a fire sphere. And this guy, he's a, a grocer. He's in the produce. He's not just a produce guy. He runs a lot of the produce for the tri-state area, all the big supermarkets. He can get anything you want. His specialty is melons, watermelons and melons. All right. <laughs> Got his garden shed with a beautiful pond behind it. And there is the new Fire Rock Fountain that was installed this year. I'm guessing since it's a brand new product, right, Rich? Yep. Okay, and there's the homeowner, Rich. And look at a great fountain. So you put that in, right, Enrique? Yeah, Good work. The new Aquascape Fire Fountain that we just came out with this year. And then some amazing fish. How long, Rich, has this pond been in? About five years. So you got those were the original fish that Tom stocked the pond with. Uh, this Ogon, that yellow Ogon, that is a heavy, that's a big fish. Yeah. You feed it pasta? <laughs> I, give it, you know, I give it Honey Nut Cheerios. Well, there you I, go. I treat them like that. <laughs> I give them a treat once in a while. This is the best investment <laughs> for me personally. And I get the best enjoyment out of this. Well, you said this is where you started every day with your coffee right every and end morning. every day every morning yeah well why would you not when you could sit here and have this view it's a, that's about as good as it gets folks you know right what? there totally maintenance free i love that i got the dosing system there the aquascape the auto doser system. yep and all i do is add like eight ounces of algicide once a week on friday and nothing more and then it adds it for you it does the work yeah, for you i do nothing believe me i do nothing it is an absolutely gorgeous property and then this is where everything's hidden down here right yeah. so you just lift this up show that enrique and that's where he was talking about i figured the doser in here yep. so he just sets it yep. 3500 changes yep. out the bag and it keeps the water that clean because it oh, always it adds bacteria hey it's tim here from garden state koi and we are at a property here in amawalk new york and the waterfall behind me i built over 12 years ago it's the first water feature that we built here on the property and now there are three others it all started off what you see behind me this beautiful pondless waterfall that you get the view from this outdoor kitchen area and dining area as well as the pool and patio. Rich is a very good client of ours and he really, really loves his water features. Our style has changed over the years, but this is still a great impact to the backyard. One thing that's really cool is he likes to have his animals, his little figurines around like the gorilla in front of me. Let's head down to the lower area in the backyard where there's a beautiful koi pond and the new Aquascape Fire Sphere Fountain. The second water feature we built on the property here is this beautiful koi pond. Some big, beautiful butterfly fish as well as standard koi and the water is once again crystal clear this pond utilizes the wetland filter system i'm going to take you up top and show you what that looks like so we got this beautiful waterfall pouring into the pond and up top here is the bog filtration this is the main filter for the pond here and it's doing a great job over here on the right hand side we have a cool little waterfall and it also acts as an extra filtration for the pond because behind there is a 2500 signature series biofall with that biofall in the wetland up above rich is able to have a large fish load in this pond so this is your home yankee office is what yeah. i have never seen a bigger fan yankee fan than you so how many baseballs do you actually have uh, that i don't know but mariano was mariano was my man see he comes down he came down he signed all this stuff and it all started with getting him melons huh started with getting him melons <laughs> and i mean look at this are you kidding me mickey mantle i mean yeah. joe dimaggio oh um, unbelievable so the most storied program in baseball and it's fun for me not to just see how people live the aquascape lifestyle but their hobbies as well. I'm a big Buckeye fan, but I can certainly appreciate a passionate sports fan. This is a beautiful room, buddy. You should be proud of this. Thank you. Beautiful Saturday. We are vlogging at Pond you built last year? Yes, in Sugarloaf, New York. Sugarloaf, New York. Let's check it out. Hello. I'm the Pond Guy, Greg. Hi. 
Hi, Greg. Nice to meet you. And you are Mar Mary Alice. Mary Alice. <laughs> Ed. Nice to meet you. All right. This looks like a, a ritual to sit outside here, huh? Yeah. It's our regular with, nightly ritual. With this beautiful vista that you have. Yep. It never gets old. I love this hardscaping. <laughs> I love it. I love the morning light coming down and reflecting off of the water and the little shimmers. Just like that. It just makes it so relaxing. The lilies aren't blooming yet, but gorgeous lilies, Tom Smith. That's the way your water lilies should look, just like that. And what I like about this is the large stones that they incorporated along with, you know, it's a smaller pond uh, for, uh, you know, what I've been vlogging with Tom, but using a big boulder like that, using a big frame rocks like that really makes a big difference. And the fact that this is only one year old and it already looks like this is just incredible. This is a whole backyard lifestyle. I mean, look at that fire pit. One of the things that I talk about all the time on my channel is it's living the aquascape lifestyle is it's not just the water feature, but how everything is incorporated. And who was the contractor that did the hardscaping? Uh, Pete from Landworks in uh, Chester, New York. So this all kind of got done at the same time. Was it a new house or? No, we've been just, here for uh, 30 years. We're recently retired, so we are taking- Wow, I could see one of you looks retired, but the other <laughs> one looks like she's still got a lot of life in her. <laughs> <laughs> so you invested in the property then? We love to be outside and I didn't feel like we were spending time sitting on the porch. We thought about maybe a screened in porch or something, but it didn't feel that really for us outside. And sure. We thought about having a pond. She's talked about so, it for forever. Really? The little jobs that go right by the back porch. And I think the longer we held off getting it, the more grandiose the plan became. <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's quite beautiful. Do you have a dog out there that wants to come out and visit us? Oh, she's got to run around. I love dogs. I would love to see the okay. beagle. <laughs> she loves a pond too. She'll go right up, nip you know. She's probably trying to get the food, but uh, uh, yeah, they're very, do come they're, up to her at times. And she has fun chasing the frogs around. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the energy. Just a pup? She's 10 months. Oh, yeah. So why is it that you thought you always wanted a pond? Like, what was the attraction? Um, It's just, it brings a lot of wildlife. We did have a garlic tanager come one day. Cool. And unfortunately, we didn't have our cameras on us, but it flew right down to the waterfall, took a little bath, mm -hmm. blew up on the... Moving water is there. the number one draw for... Yeah, for... yeah, so it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, we do get a ton of frogs. <laughs> yep. They, they love it, which they're fun too. You can almost have a pond just full of frogs. Uh-huh. So I, I'm imagining that with this pond, you spent a lot more time outside than before you had it. Um, every night, we got the light beautiful, so we come out every single night unless yeah, it was we raining. We really underestimated but... the lights. Like, that's huge, like, because oftentimes you don't have time to enjoy the pond until... Seven or sure. Eight so we're out here with a glass of wine at 10 o'clock at night <laughs> sometimes. They didn't initially go for the lights. Okay. Correctly, right? So they we weren't 50% off. <laughs> no. Oh, that's no, right. We're still working on it. <laughs> I think we have a nighttime that's event right. and they saw the lights. They're like, oh my gosh, we have to have lights. So you added them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were on the fence about it. But yeah, because you spent as much as you wanted to on the pond and then you added yep. the lights later. Yep. Sometimes I'll uh, we'll unplug the falls and just make it real peaceful and quiet and water gets glassy. It's just yeah. It's very calm. And fish are fun pets too aren't they yeah yeah we're trying to train them a little better they are in there but they have a lot of nice right, you have koi one goldfish <laughs> and then the rest koi yeah. try to get a couple shabunkins and they will yeah. they're usually the ones that and then when the shabunkins start eating out of your hands then the koi will follow oh. Yeah, get, get get three or four shabunkins for here. And of course, they'll start to get more personality and you'll start to learn their personalities yeah, yeah, too. We see <laughs> he missed it. <laughs> so that's your new hobby. That's great. Pull it, when you see your frogs, pull them up and they will, after about a week of doing it, they'll come eat right out of your oh, hand. Okay, all right, that'll be fun. Yeah, totally fun. Huh. Got it. Got <laughs> he got the cricket. That was great. <laughs> it's fun.